Hi, I'm Van Wallach, and I'm speaking to you today live from the Katona Metro North Railroad Station. As you can see, trains are still coming. And being here reminds me of what it was like during my 22 years of commuting from 1996 to 2018. Um, up in the morning, back at night, I estimate that I spent $66,000 over those years, and I traveled at least 200,000 miles, going back and forth from places like Stanford and Westport in Connecticut and Katona here in New York. I started working at home two years ago, so the pandemic hasn't affected my work schedule that much, but I still have a lot of feelings about uh, Metro North, the trains I took over the years because that really defined my, my work experience, being in New York. And now that the pandemic's here, the trains are still going, and a place that had so much life to it back when I was commuting, now simmers with a sort of menace and great disjunction. Um, day and night, I still hear the trains coming through, stopping here, going to New York, going up the line to uh, points north. And I have to wonder who's on the trains. I mean, the parking lots are empty. I walk by and I don't see people getting on or off. I don't, I don't know who's on them, but it's, uh, I hear the, the uh, gate bells ringing and it has kind of an ominous sound now, like something maybe from, I don't know, the theme music from The, uh, the Walking Dead. So anyway, what was it like being a commuter? Um, I did it a long time. I had experiences that were kind of crazy. Uh, being on trains where the doors opened uh, while the train was in motion in the winter and the snow came in. Uh, I've been on trains where the air conditioning didn't work in the summer and the heat didn't work in the winter. And I gotta tell you, no air conditioning in the summer is a lot worse experience. I spent time stranded for hours at Grand Central when there was a systemic breakdown. Um, I lost jackets, gym bags, and tuna salad, tuna salad lunches and Tupperware on the train, but I never, uh, I never lost my wallet or my, uh, my keys, which other people did, and I would always pick up and return to them. So I found that there was a great, very rigid schedule you fall into when you're commuting. Like up at six, feed the cats, shower, eat, out the door, scramble the park, get on the train. I remember in, when I was in Westport, Connecticut, the schedules were so synchronized that many times I would park next to somebody I called Blue Miata Man because I would park exactly next to his Blue Miata. I never knew his name. So, well, despite all the expense and the time involved, I wound up liking to go to, on the train. Uh, I called it my morning semester. I tried to read, do work on my laptop, uh, do what I call my sunrise semester, try to study languages. It set up a division between home life and work life. I like being in the office, friends, coffee, the printers, of course. And I really like being in New York. It was always a treat for me. Um, the, my Metro North ticket was like, um, a ticket for fun and adventure. Uh, it was like a, a public transit Disneyland. That's what I thought of it as. I'd go in and I would take pictures in Grand Central and on the walk to Times Square offices. Um, see friends, go to plays, go to music. Um, the cops, the sirens, the, the craziness, the United Nations week when all the streets were blocked. The, um, those tense times when I would hear voices being raised they would cut through the urban, urban chaos. Um, I miss it. Now, the upside is being at home means I save four hours a day that I spent going back and forth. That is a lot of time. Annual savings cost-wise are about six, at least $6,000. So all that time is mine to, instead of going to the gym, I now do my exercise routine listening to podcasts, and I also do hour-long walks here in Katona. And, uh, it just completely changes my routine. And like millions of other people who are now washed up on the home shores of the home office, you'll get used to it. You'll find uh, it increases your productivity, cuts out uh, 
other things. But, you know, I still miss it. I liked going in, having my fun. And I'm really hoping that at some point the 42 mile social distancing that separates Katona Station from Grand Central Station will be erased. And I can go in back to my office sometimes, go back to Times Square, go back to whatever it is that, that pulls my attention and makes me love the place. Um, I hope it happens, uh, but until then, I'm going to tip my hat to the men and women who work on Metro North, who keep the steel wheels rolling all the time through all the craziness and crap that's going on. And best of luck to you. I'm a commuter who appreciates what you do every day. And I look forward to seeing you again on the train. This is Van Wallach in Katona. Stay informed and stay free. Thank you.